Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips and tricks. I'm just going to show you, or share with you some of the ones that I know of. You may already know of these, and in which case, I'm sorry for wasting your time. And um, these work on Windows XP, and I don't know if they work on Vista. I'm pretty sure most of them will. Um, so I'm, I'll probably put in the description that they probably work on Vista. So uh, try them out. Let me know if they work. Uh, so let's get started. So I've got a folder that's called dog and inside I've got two folders called dogs and dogs2. Now this is I'm going to do something with this which is completely different to this. So we're going to start with dogs and um, it's full, it's got, well it's not full, it's got three pictures of dogs in it. Now um, what if, see I've got three pictures here and when I look at the folder it's got three pictures of the actual dogs. Um, what if I just wanted to have one, if I wanted to have like this dog here, what if I wanted to have this just cover the whole folder? Now if you go into it, oops, and um, uh, I suggest uh, for what I'm going to show you, um, you go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and untick Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Um, you'll notice it says .jpg on the end of your files, but this is useful for what I'm going to show you later. But anyway, um, you see this, this said .jpg, now I want to make this my main folder icon, um, so it covers the whole folder in thumbnail view. Now what I'm going to do is rename this. I'm going to call it folder.jpg. Now, don't go renaming it just yet if you're doing this to any of your folders, because uh, you may want to retain the original file, in which case I'll show you something in a second. So when I go up, you'll notice that now that is my main folder icon. So if you want to cover a picture on your folder, just one picture, call it folder. But if I rename this back to dog, so you don't want to go through renaming your files or one specific file and make them JPEG. All you need to do is just make a copy of it and just copy across, and now I've got a copy of it, and then um, if I go back, you'll notice that it's now got those there. Now, if I'm, all I need to do is rename this to folder.jpg, and that then you've got the original file. Uh, yeah, you've got a copy of it, but that, that won't matter. It's only, like, well, mine's only 38 kilobytes extra, so um, yeah, so you've now got folder.jpg and dog.jpg. So you've kept your original file, and you made a copy and called it folder. Now, you can make this hidden if you really want to. If you don't want to see it, just make it hidden, F5, and then it's gone, and you still have your main picture. So that's one thing you can do. Um, now, you notice I said hide extensions for, for known file types. Uh, now, another tip, if you wanted to, um, I don't know, hide a file or something, um, you've got a picture you don't want people seeing or something like that, well, all you need to do, really, is click on it. I'm going to say I want to uh, hide this or something. Just click on it, press F2, and um, call it something else that's not a JPEG or something like that. If you just say something like uh, work.txt, press enter, it says oh, if you change the file extension, the file may become unusable. Yes, and you'll notice it's now ch changed to a text document, so you can't see the picture and you can't see what's in it. And then you can just change it back by calling it dog.jpg. And then yes, and you'll notice it's gone straight back to this. So if you want to change it, and then you can drag it anywhere, and then change it back. Um, now this can also be useful if um, some things like on the internet or anything like that, they have like a filter. Um, for example, if you have an executable file, I won't show you it, but if you have an executable file, it's usually the program name .exe. If you want to send this over things like MSN or something, uh, Windows Live Messenger, they won't allow you to send uh, executable files. So what you could do as well, one, one you could zip it and then send it across, but um, you could also just rename it to a JPEG file and then send it across, and then Windows Live Messenger thinks it's a picture, and then it will send it across to the other person, and then you get them to rename it back to exe on the end. So that's one thing you can do. So there's a couple of tricks you can do with this dogs folder. Now dogs too, you'll notice that, um, I'll put this into thumbnail view, uh, you'll notice that um, these are called doggy, dog, and choose dog name. Now um, they're all different names. Now what if I were to have them the, like the, kind of the same name, um, you can actually just drag over all of them, press F2, and before this JPEG on the end, you just say dog, or whichever your prefix is going to be, because they're all going to change themselves to dog, and you press enter. It says cannot choose dog name, uh, specify do or exists. All right, so I've already got a dog thing here, so it can't change it. So I'm going to call this um, uh, dog with two G's. And you'll notice that it's actually renamed all of them. So now it says dog with two G's one, dog with two G's two G's two. So if you want to rename all your pictures to sequentially and have them all as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you just uh, drag them all and press F two and rename them. So that is the dogs two. 
so next up, quotations. Now you notice, uh, I'll just remove these for a second because I tried to do this in a previous video. Um, you notice if I was to make a text file, uh, it's called new text document .txt. Now if I change this so you have uh, you have hidden your file extensions, you'll notice it hasn't shown the txt on the end. It just just says new text document. So if I was to rename this to a batch file, if I said hello .bat it's still a text document and if I go to enable what we saw uh, the extension it's actually renamed it to hello.bat.text and this isn't clever uh, so I'm going to hide this again and um, I'm going to open it uh, actually I'm going to rename this back to uh, hello so it's hello text document I'm going to open it I'm going to go save as now usually you'd have to go save this file type and then whatever um, but what you can actually do is um, you can keep this as save as file type um, you can just put in quotes what you want it to be called so hello dot bat and just put in quotes save it and now notice I have a hello batch file and also if you want to you can do it for anything I mean I can I could put in quotes hello dot jpg it's come up as a picture save as hello um, hello just without an extension and put it in quotes and it just comes up as a normal file so that is um, using quotations to save files and you can change the extension without needing to do rename it through here so uh, next up is uh, dog2 right um, I've got these same dogs again <laughs> um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the view for a second to tiles now You'll notice when I was in thumbnail view, it showed the file names. So what if I could hide those file names and just have the pictures show? Uh, if you go to view and then you see thumbnails, if you hold the shift button and click it, you'll notice that it now comes up with the pictures without the file names. So it makes it a lot easier to view if you've got loads of pictures and you don't want to mess around with the file names. You just want to have the pictures. And obviously to change it back, you need to go back to the, another view and shift and then thumbnails and it comes back. So that's another trick. Um, oh, I didn't show you the uh, Send2. Now, there's a folder on your system called Send2. If you right-click on a file, it says Send2 here. It's got a bunch of options. Now, what if you could add your own options into the Send2? Now, if I go Start and Run, type in Send2, open it, you'll notice there's a folder, and it's got some of the things that were available in the Send2. See, Bluetooth device, and it's got Bluetooth device here. Now, uh, what if I were to send it to an application? Now, you can add applications into this Send2 folder. So, if I was to go onto Notepad, uh, accessories notepad control shift makes a shortcut drag it onto here and then if I ch click on any file on my system click send to I can now send it to notepad and then you can add several applications here if you want and they can drag any file into it so uh, that's, that's quite a useful tip um, next up toolbars and taskbar now if I go into oh, I don't know I'll go into the dogs again um, I'll choose dogs too um, you can actually make a toolbar on the edge of the screen um, so you can access them quickly. So if I just drag it to the end of the screen, it's made a dogs too. And then I can access my files through it. You can also customize this by taking off the text, taking off the title, and then dragging it. And then you've got them accessible through here. And uh, I mean, you can do this with my computer. You can just drag it up here. And then you can have it a, a quick access to all of your drives. And it doesn't have to be the top. You can drag it to the side. And you can have it down here. And you can just have the uh, icons so you can get to them quickly and then just drag this to make it smaller and then look you've got a nice little toolbar with access to all your drives and the control panel and things like that so that's making a toolbar now you, you don't have to just have this at the top I'm running out of time now so you can drag this onto the taskbar it, and as soon as this no entry has just gone just next to this um, next to this system tray click it and then let go and that's it says dogs2 click this and now I've got access to all my files down here just in the taskbar so you don't even need to make a toolbar um, last but not least, as I'm running out of time, closing multiple boxes. So I'm going to open up a bunch of Firefoxes, my computer, my documents. What if I were to close both uh, Google and my... Oh, open another one. Uh, a couple more. My camera, uh, the screen recorder may go funny. I want to close Google, my documents and uh, my computer. All I need to do is press hold control, click my computer, click my documents, click Google, right click and say close group and my test it's gone all green so I'm sorry about that now, I don't know why it does that but it works and it closes the files as you can see so thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again